Jake Williams. Jake Williams is here. Legit. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, to tour namin kayo dito sa Amgoo, which is located at Barangay Landan. Maraming beses ako nakapunta dito. First is, nung diwata ng Pulumolok, yung pamagid ko, yung ate ni Jojet, nag-join. Dito sila nag-photoshoot. Yung second time is, nung punta kami dito ni Jana. Yung third is, nung umuwi dito yung kuya ko galing ng Cebu. Si sir, yung fourth is nung bumili ako dito ng tela, yung gintlo ba yun? Yung biniweave ng mga sisters natin na daan. Pang lima ngayon, napunta ko dito. As you can see, oh, malapit na malapit yung matutom dito. If interested kayong makita kung ano ang mga kaganapan sa video na ito, then keep on watching. Tibling ako ng kape. Hmm. Let's get to know more about their culture and also on how they made their amazing duck style. So this video is from Catriona Gray, our very own Miss Universe 2018. So you can watch her series on her YouTube channel called The Cultura 101. Abaca? Yes, the same abaca that makes rope is the same fiber used to make these precious fabrics. It is a very difficult process and it begins from harvesting the abaca plant and then stripping it to get the fibers. These fibers are then dried. Ikat refers to the tie and dye process. It is complicated but try to follow me. It begins with a design in the weaver's head. She translates this design into a series of tied portions which, when woven, will reveal the design she imagined. After the fibers are tied, they are dyed. That means that the portions covered in string won't be covered. These fibers are then set up on the loom so that the partial design becomes visible. By the way, the loom used here is a very different type from the ones that you saw in Ilocos region. This is the backstrap loom. It is hard kasi sakto lang dapat ang control and balance ng weaver when she works. It is only when the weaver begins to weave that the full design is revealed. Remember that there was no template to copy from. Nasa utak lang ng weaver lahat. And so you can imagine the immense level of skill and technique it takes to take a concept and create a finished textile. Amazing! Kilan kasi fu nam alitablaan kamunti ba 
galing sa kladalan Bagatas na bang wadi ka fibanu Nang ato baling sa hal kayo Ilan ka stipu ng alitablaan Kamong ti baling sa kladalan Bagatas na bang di ka fibanu Nang ato baling sa hal kayo Sa pong nakakalungkot na balita, pumano na po si Bay Fu Yabing Masalundulo. Panoorin po natin yung video na ito. Pumanaw na si Fu Yabing Masalundulo, isang kilalang Filipino textile master weaver at dyer sa edad na 106. Ang tubong South Cotabato na si Fu Yabing noon ang natitirang weaving master ng tradisyonal na paghahabi na tinatawag na Blaan Mabal Tabi. Ang Mabal Tabi o Ikat Weaving ay isang sinauna at espesyal na pamaraan ng paghahabi ng abaka na karaniwang ginagawang damit at palda sa Mindanao noon. Base sa nakatala sa nolisoli.ph, sa murang edad ay maagang kinakitaan na ng galing at potensyal sa larangan ng sining si Fuya Bing. Nagsimula muna siya sa paghahabi ng dalawang mabal tabi masterpieces sa edad na labing apat. Isa sa kanyang obra ay nasa National Museum ngayon. Ayon naman sa blaansforgamaba.weebly.com, si Fuyabing ay nagsilbing cultural master ng Blaan Weaving School of Living Tradition sa Sarangani noong 2005. Naging katuwang din siya sa cultural preservation ng Sarangani sa kaparehong taon sa ilalim ng IPDP o Indigenous Peoples Development Program. Sabisa naman ang isang proklamasyon ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte noong Enero 2017, isa si Fu Yabing sa tatlong pinarangala ng Manilikha ng Bayan o National Living Treasures of the Philippines for 2016. Rest in Power, Fu Yabing So that concludes our Amgo O trip all complete. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. So see you on my next video. Bye!